What's up guys, it's TechnoViking23 coming to you today with some Raid Shadow Legends and it is Friday so we are jumping into our weekly free to play Friday episode here. I'm just finishing up some spider runs. Uh, we're trying to get some silver going since there is an artifact enhancement event going on right now for the fusion that we're trying to uh, push through and get the next rare champion we need. Uh, for the fusion, so what we're going to do is kind of take a look at uh, how we're doing. We did the update yesterday. Kind of been making some progress since then. Let me just go through here and get rid of some of this gear to get some extra silver. Let's see if we got anything decent crit damage. Not bad. Get rid of all this blue stuff. Hopefully we get some decent stuff here. Got some accuracy there. Crit damage again. Not too bad. Of this rare gear kind of at the point of the free to play account now where we do not keep really any blue gear at all especially from spider we're mostly looking for decent epic and legendary pieces actually you know what we got 23 energy let's go ahead and just burn it all we had 100 gems on our login reward tonight so i just went ahead and spent some gems on the spider to get enough energy uh, to run all 45 of my auto battles on spider 25 trying to get some silver uh, we got a bunch of energy tonight because we actually did reset the weekly quest. So we got the energy for taking a champ to four stars and ascending a champion. Plus, I believe energy was the uh, the free pack in the shop today, too. So we uh, did pretty well there. So let's go ahead and back out and see how we're doing. Okay, we got up to three million. Not too bad. Forge pass thing finished. And we got a couple other quests done here, which is good. Got an advanced quest done. And we finished a clan quest. Okay, wow, we got a whole bunch of stuff done here. So let's jump in here and see what we got for clan quest. We're going to get some coins. Now, unfortunately, this week, we did not get energy in the shop. It would have been nice for them to have energy in the shop, given that we are in the middle of a fusion and all that extra energy does help a little bit. So I will probably wind up buying some of the accessories here. We're trying to get some of these counterattack accessories for our clan boss teams to try to boost our damage a little bit. Oh, Dungeon Diver is just still ongoing. Okay, cool. Or is this a new one? Is this the same? Oh, it's the old one. Okay, cool. So we got Ancient Shard. Not bad. We need all the shards we can get now because we did go all in on the Summon Rush. Uh, and I did have to pull all my Sacreds. I had to pull a bunch of my Voids. But you can see we got all the way down to the Epic. I wound up getting, I think, two voids from Clan Boss this morning, which let me finish that off. So that was kind of nice. Now, Plarium decided to be kind of sneaky and throw in this guaranteed Candrophon for 150, which kind of came out of nowhere. I don't think even the content creators knew this was going to be in the 10x event for the weekend. So that was, I don't know whether to be happy or sad about that. <laughs> Um, obviously, we're not going to be going for that here on this account. And you can see we haven't even pulled really any Ancients because we're kind of recovering those from our last week. And uh, I went for this on my main account because I'm on a main account now. I basically just saved for the guaranteed events. So I was able to get Candrophon on my main, which is great because I can put him with Duchess on my arena defense. Looking forward to that. But you can see we did empty all of our Voids and all of our Sacred Shards. We had six of them all together. So... Let's talk about what we actually wound up getting, because we did not really get anything all that great, unfortunately. That was kind of the unfortunate thing here and what I was kind of expecting. Uh, and one of the reasons it's also why we went full in on this on this fusion is we wanted to at least get one good legendary out of this uh, out of this whole event. But I'm trying to think who we pulled. I did get a new legendary out of my six sacred, so at least that was okay, but it's not really someone I'm super super excited about it's Basilius Romanus and uh, I think this guy got buffed recently I've never really used him on my main account I think I have him in the vault but I don't really know where I'd use him um, on the free-to-play account because again the thing on this account is we have to really watch uh, who we invest in because we don't have the same amount of resources that we get on our main account so you know his kit looks okay and I'm really not sure where this guy would be useful. So if you guys are using this guy and he's good somewhere, let me know in the comments uh, where you guys think this guy could be useful. But again, it's like we have him, you know, I still have Del De Deliana and I've got Cupidus, who I think are both probably worth building over this guy. Uh, we've got our we have got our lure that we wound up pulling. We've still got Molly. Uh, I got so many other legendaries here. I have not even been able to start building yet. So 
it's almost like you hate to pull one because especially if it's not a good one you're just like eh, whatever so we got our second madam saris that we pulled out of the vault that we're working on there uh, we got two of our lama bros here that are ready to go uh, we just need one more i believe and we'll be all set we've got our where'd she go she's right here we go so we got our third kinagashi that we pulled uh, from the summon rush and we've been working on getting her leveled up to 50 so we got our two goats there and we've got another one down here somewhere here he is 37 we've been leveling them up today too uh, just on 12 3 so he's almost done and then we'll need one more and we will be completely finished with getting all the epics done uh, and then we'll probably save pulling the fusion for clan versus clan now out of the summon rush we did get a Sinesha, which is actually pretty huge, even though I'm already done with Night Revenant on this account. This is still a pretty cool uh, pull because we can use her in a lot of different areas. Uh, Doom Tower, uh, Arena, so it's going to be good to uh, start working on her. But honestly, our pulls were not that great. We got Alika, who's actually not a bad champion. It's just that she takes a million books uh, to build up all her abilities here. But she can do some pretty good damage if you do decide to build her out, obviously, on this account not someone really going to be looking at building <laughs> uh, we got a Frostbringer we got ultimate Galek um, we got another Drake and then we got Gorlos Helma who actually I think is pretty good so this guy might help us in demon spawn although I think our allure is going to allow us to hopefully progress a little bit uh, through faction wars but that's pretty much it I didn't get anything from the voids except a bunch of rare garbage that I pretty much used to make some of these four stars and that's kind of where we at. So it was pretty sad for the summoning event, uh, for the summon rush. Pretty, pretty bad, in all honesty. Not anything to write home about. Oh, we didn't, we didn't end up putting gear on our lure. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. She's actually one that helped me finish um, the Dark Fate boss the other night. So that said, we're doing pretty good. We do have three million silver. The artifact enhancement is what we are kind of shooting for now. And this may take us a couple days. I blew through about 8 million silver this morning, and we only got up to uh, about this point. You do need 5,300. It's kind of high, it seems like, for this rare. But I'd rather just do this than, than push Fire Knight or do any of the other stuff that's going on right now to just finish the fusion and be a little bit lazier there. So we'll get some more energy tonight once that goes through, and we should be able to uh, get that event finished up. Let's go ahead and just see if we can uh, pick up some points here. Let's go ahead and open up our filter, and I like to just do this basically with my six star gear because it's usually what you're going to get the most points from. And we'll probably just put some stuff to 12 because I've only got 3 million silver. It's, it's better to just take everything to 16 if you can, it's just that that can basically erase all of your silver like almost instantly. <laughs> so we're going to kind of um, slowly go through here and see if we can get any decent rolls on any of this gear. These epic pieces, I don't really mind leveling these to, uh... Actually, I don't really know about that chest piece. I don't know if I really want to waste anything on that. I'd really like to try to get speed rolls on some of these. There we go, that's decent double speed. We just kind of kind of keep, uh, keep an eye on the silver. We don't blow through all of it at one time, but... If I had more, like this morning when I had, uh, 8 million, I was taking stuff all the way to 16 just to kind of blow through it. But most of these are not sets we're really looking to use. These are just like broken pieces that we might wind up putting on somebody at some point. And Kitty wants to say hello. <laughs> of course, anytime we get on the computer and start doing anything, she wants to know what's going on. Do we have any speed substats on any of this divine speed here? We do not. All right, let's see about this swift parry weapon. This looks pretty nice. Okay, good double speed roll there. That's pretty nice. We got any perception stuff we can roll? Flat defense. I wonder why I kept this. I wonder if I kept this for a chaos or for a quad accuracy, maybe. I don't know. Let's see if we can go ahead and take this shield up to 12. And we get a flat HP roll. That's no good, but I kind of save all my perception stuff with speed and accuracy because you never know when you're going to be able to fit a piece in somewhere. Especially now that we're building another Madame Saris, this is going to be a set that we definitely are going to need to try to pick up some accuracy rolls in and also some speed resistance chest let's see if we can hit a speed roll here 
But you see, we blew through that three million silver almost almost instantly. It's like just it's just gone. <laughs> it's like it comes and it goes. I don't know if any of this stuff is even worth leveling here. Need to get some protection. Ooh, this is actually a pretty nice little piece of gear here. Shoot that up to 12. Alright, crit rate's not bad. I'll take crit rate on a weapon. Got our stone skin flat HP boots. Why do we even... I don't know why I even kept those, but... That's a little interesting. Let's see if we got anything here that's worth... Taking a shot at. Divine life shield here. We do have a little bit of speed there. And that's going to take me down to 115,000 silver. <laughs> so there you go. How to burn through 3 million silver in like you know, two minutes, but it looks like we did at least get another section completed here on our event. So we're inching closer. We're down into the bottom tier now at 3000 points. So I imagine I'll be able to finish this tomorrow. Um, you know, once we get some more energy, we'll run some more spider. That's really the easiest way for me to get silver on this account. All right, let's take a look. See, we have a clan boss key. We do not 42 minutes. Uh, we're not doing so well on clan boss today actually it's the spirit boss which is now my least favorite and i think we've only done two keys today and they were, neither one of them were really all that impressive it's just the clan boss rng you can see they're only doing about 20 million a key so we're gonna have to hit a big key on the third one or we're gonna have to wind up four key uh spirit which is kind of kind of bad because then we can't put a key in the nightmare so that's no fun we did our hydra yesterday i think i got yeah i had to put a second key in to get over the the one key for the the top chest there so we've got one key left we'll probably just put that into normal to try to help the clan if we can't get it finished but uh there's no sense in me trying to key on hard because i do not have uh, i barely have enough champions built to do two teams on hydra right now so usually i just try to get top chest um on normal that's kind of our plan see arena we do have a refresh coming up on the energy here we'll get that tomorrow sometimes so that's nice we'll get a little bit more energy to farm with that Let's see what faction wars are going on tonight okay so we got better we got demon spawn which i have not tried stage 21 yet what team do i have rolling in here did i okay i need to bring a lure into this team so i'm gonna have to check and see how her gear is running and figure out because we're running a couple of 50s here we managed to get this far in demon spawn just using tyrant at 50 he's been pretty good and then we've got doer at 50 as our main reviver there but uh, I'm probably going to take Magnar out and bring in a lure to see if we can get through 21 with her, but we'll try that later. I really don't want to spend the time manually here right now, because uh, again, we're trying to keep these videos kind of short, so we really don't want to um, do a 20 minute faction run right yet. Okay, so we are trying hard Doom Tower. Unfortunately, Bommel Hard 10 is just not doable on this account yet. I have tried it. Uh, but I just, I don't have the champions really, I don't have the gear, I should say. I do have the, you know, I've got Tatura, I've got, uh, Vrask, I've got Vogoth. I've got quite a few good spirit champs, and I think the best I've done so far is get him down to half health. I haven't been able to get past that, but, uh, right now my gear is just not in the spot where I can really get through this just yet. Unless I find some other combination that works, but I was kind of hoping to at least get past him so I could get up to floor 20 and do a little bit of farming. Um, cause last Doom Tower we did get up to floor like 53 or something like that. So I want to start trying to work on some of these secret rooms and, you know, pushing a little bit higher in the harder tower. So we can pretty much complete all the, all the normal ones now just fine, but that's kind of where we are there on the hard tower. So kind of sucks. We can't get through Balma yet, but we'll, we're going to keep working at it. And again, we are basically closing in on this. We got three of the epics ready to go. I need one more rare, and then we can finish the last epic, and then we will pull Helicath for uh, Clan vs. Clan next week. So that'll be an easy 30,000 points. And uh, I actually do have, I think we got an XP barrel from one of the events. So we've got, we're going to be able to take him right to 50. Uh, he's definitely going to be a six star because his kit is just really solid for pretty much all over. And I could probably use this guy in Hard Doom Tower too. So that's another reason we're going to work on him. Nice ally defense in all battles, too. So uh, I could probably actually use him on my clan boss team, too, for going against the force boss um, with Martyr. And then once we bring Fane in there, that might actually get us to a two-key, possibly with him, if we can get him tuned in there. 
and uh, get it going. So uh, pretty exciting. Free to play accounts doing pretty well. Having a pretty good week so far, and I'm looking forward to actually getting this fusion done because this is going to be a really solid champion uh, to get on our account. And thankfully, we were able to save a couple of shards. Now we're not going to have any sacreds next week, unfortunately, for sacred 2x unless Clan Boss is really generous to us. Um, we're not really close to getting the one from progress missions, although. Once we get these done, we actually get two five-star chickens from that, which is pretty cool. That'll help uh, with Helicath as well. And the rest of these, I think we can get that done pretty easily. That's pretty easy. The 15,000 gold bars may take us a while because we do not have, we only have like a thousand gold bars right now. So I should probably be saving those for this mission. Craft 10 shields, pretty easy. Doom Tower, normal 70, easy. Silver one in tag, we're actually in silver two, so we should be able to maintain that long enough to be able to get that done. Uh, pretty much all these uh, 500 chance in tag team arena. That's gonna be un that won't be that fun. But pretty much all of the rest of these, we are we're, we're clear through. I mean, these 70 and 80 Doom Tower floors pretty easy. And then we'll get to the end and we'll start working on part three, which uh, these get a little bit tougher. There's a bunch of really nasty glyph missions in here that are not that fun. It's like 40 glyphs to it's like 45 star glyphs to max, which is just awful. It took me like over a month to get that done on my main account, so not looking forward to doing that again. But that's kind of where we stand right now. Uh, we're about 15 minutes in, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump off. I don't want to push the video too far. Um, I'm, I'm really not feeling too much energy today, anyways. I made two videos yesterday, and it's been a long week. I'm looking forward to resting up this weekend. Uh, we've been pushing this fusion, staying up late, <laughs> you know, so I'm a little worn down, a little run down, and then also need to uh, try to sneak in a workout tonight. So we're going to go ahead and cut the video here. Uh, as always, if you guys have any questions about anything that you saw in the video, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. Let me know how you guys are doing on the fusion. Uh, if you're definitely going to hit it, let me know if you pulled for a Kandrafon today, if you wound up getting anything decent. Uh, unfortunately, we only got the one kind of underwhelming legendary here on this account. Uh, I didn't get any extra legendaries on my main account besides Kandrafon, unfortunately. Uh, we had been we had busted our mercy a couple times prior to this event, so we, we really didn't get anything special there. But Kandrafon himself is going to be pretty awesome for my main account, so looking forward to building him there. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks, as always, for watching, and I will see you again next time.